Hey folks, Jer here with The View and your daily leads news. If you are new to the channel, let me tell you really quickly what this channel is all about. Your leads news in a short amount of time as is possible. I will do all the work on Twitter and around the internet for you to get you the news in as quick a time as possible. Um, there's not a huge amount going around this morning, but there's a little bit. And we're going to just touch on some transfer rumors that have kicked off this morning. And a surprising one that's come out from the Bundesliga is Daichi Kamada, the Japanese international who is currently playing for Eintracht Frankfurt, has been linked with Leeds. Spurs are also said to be interested in the attacker who can play as an attacker can play wide, can play up top or can play in midfield. He's a very versatile player. He has four goals and six starts for Frankfurt this season and on course for his best haul so far. Uh, and this story comes from the Daily Express. He had a 13, £13 million pound fee attached to him, but there is some very complicated clauses in his contract that the Express are, are calling contract poker. So there's a bit of negotiation needs to go on there. Leeds have said to be interested in him. He is 26 years of age, so he's right on the cusp of what Leeds like to bring in age-wise, but he would add another option for a player who can play anywhere across the front line or potentially up top. And a good start to the season in Frankfurt Farm this year with five goals in six games. Uh, ben Burton Diaz, I know. I know it keeps popping up and he won't go away, but until he does go away, we have to keep talking about it when there is news. So Ben Burton Diaz, Daily Mail is claiming that Leeds are still interested in the striker. However, there are some problems. Celta Vigo, Villarreal and Valencia are all said to be keen on opening pre-contract negotiations with the player. The issue there is that they can open negotiations with him during the winter window, but as he's based in England, Leeds cannot open negotiations with him on a contract until the summer window. So there's a big gap there. Leeds may need to move in January with a fee if they want to get the player, or if the player is interested and his preferred choice is Leeds, he might be willing to wait until the end of the season. But we'll have to wait and see that Leeds do still need a striker in lots of people's opinions, and we'll get to that in a minute. Some good news on the TV front as there's no football to watch and Academy Dreams will premiere on Amazon Prime TV tomorrow the 23rd. This will be the documentary that follows the Leeds youth players our last seasons under 23s and their progress into the senior side with Leeds. It will cover uh, Joffy Greenwood and a couple of other under 23s from last year that were visible uh, and they're around the fringe of the first team. Mark Jackson is also set to feature quite prominently with the team as well as he was the coach of the under 23 side last season and we might even see some Bielsa Marsh handover stuff in this as well. All six episodes are available to stream from tomorrow which is really handy for me because I can download them and watch them on the plane. That's my plane journey sorted. Um, and they will be narrated by Vinnie Jones that we've already, we've already heard. So all six episodes tomorrow, Friday the 23rd will be live on Amazon Prime. If you don't have the Prime app, you can get it through the Prime TV website as well, anywhere around the world, so that's available. Um, and to finish on some good news, Sonny Perkins scored his first goal for England, his debut goal for the England under-19 team. Perkins has been in fantastic form for Leeds so far this season with five goals and four games for our own 21 side. And he's carried that form into the England side as well. So great work by Perkins and well done. Also, just to mention then, just before we close up, is that we finished our interview with Adam Pope this morning so a massive thanks to Adam for taking time out of his morning to speak to us that will drop tomorrow morning there won't be a news video tomorrow morning but that video will go up it's quite long it's about 40 minutes of an interview and we've talked about everything from the ownership structure at Leeds to the transfers that came in youth players coming through so to the people that asked questions in the community tab yesterday thanks very much for that as well so we've covered quite a lot in that and that video will drop tomorrow morning i'll have that scheduled for about 11 o'clock tomorrow morning if you want to catch that i will be in the air and traveling across to the states so there won't be any video for me on friday and there won't be a video on saturday either i'll be back on monday for your news next week so i'll try and figure out how i'm gonna do this while i'm working away next week we'll get something out to you and that's pretty much it folks it's a short news day but uh yeah daichi come out have a look at him decent player go look him up at ben burton ds floating around as well and academy dreams which i know we're all excited about given the lack of football that we have right now so um usual stuff if you like the channel if you like the content a like and a subscribe will really help me out it helps boost the channel gets a recognition gets it seen around the, by, gets it seen by more and more people so helps the channel to grow and i would really appreciate that so thanks everyone for your time as always thanks for popping in and I'll see you tomorrow for an interview, kind of, and next week for news. Bye.